As the holidays quickly approach, being negative has become a positive trait. Lines for COVID-19 testing are growing in Washington, D.C. and nationwide, as many Americans seek a negative test result before they show up for Thanksgiving dinner, even as health officials warn against indoor gatherings with extended family members. Yeah, my grandmother's turning 100 in a couple weeks, and in order for me to even be within 20 feet of her, uh, my family decided that I should have a negative test, and Holly as well. I'm expecting about five or six people, yeah. but I'm not going to be like sitting still with them. I'm going to go pick up a plate, say hello from a distance, and bounce. But again, even with that limited amount of interaction, I still don't want to bring anything to them. Spreading the virus on Thanksgiving is a big concern for U.S. health officials. As U.S. infections soar to a new record of 168,000 new cases per day on average, health authorities are strongly warning against holiday travel, a warning millions of Americans appeared to be disregarding. Some one million people passed through airport security gates on Sunday, the highest number since March. Trains are also filling up. Stephen Clapp took one from New York to Washington, D.C. And I've been quarantining this weekend, so um, I tested negative, so that's why I'm here. But even with a negative COVID-19 test result, the virus could be picked up while traveling, says New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Uh, getting a test is better than not getting a test. But if you test negative today, uh, that doesn't mean you're negative tomorrow. Health officials fear the holiday may aid in fueling infections before a series of promising new vaccines are expected to become widely available.